Hello everybody, Mark Caliber 17 here. Welcome back to Commonwealth Wrestling Resurrection. Today, oh crap, there are ghosts. <laughs> I don't know how good the Wi-Fi is going to be this week. Or at least the Wi-Fi and the production people. But today, before we head on to the uh, to another super card, hopefully, we have some matches to go through here today. And I do, do hope that you all enjoy the show nonetheless. Excuse me. So to kick things off, we have Shadow Press going one-on-one -on -one with the Paragon of Greatness. In ladies' tag team action, it's Danny Logan and Jay Barrett with Akira Suzuki in their corner. Taking on the team of Angelita Nightwalker and Mrs. Utaker, the mother-daughter tag team of the Fallen Angels. And then it's singles action. Devoa Dimitri with Mark Blade in, the, in his corner. Taking on Red Dust Jonathan Storm. But with a newcomer in his corner. And then his singles action. Mark Blade will be back in the ring. But this time he will be facing off against Killa Neptune. In a fatal four-way elimination matchup. It is Akira Suzuki. Cameron Jackie. El Angel de Oro. And Jennifer Clark going at it. And then in a non-title tag team match. Former tag team champions. Matt Outlaw and Frozen Rage take on the current tag team champions, Lex and Mike Blood, the Blood Bro Brothers, with Mark Blade in their corner, the Forgotten Billion Boys. And speaking of tag team, this four-corner elimination match will determine who will be the number one contenders for the tag team titles. It'll be from left to right, it's Primordial Explosion, Ace Adams and Andy Price. Excalibur and Chris Cage and Ryan Osborne. So let's get to it. I <clears throat> uh, had to clear my throat for a little bit. The following contest 15 minutes. Introducing first for 11, weighing in at 240 pounds. Shadow Press. Tell you what, he is one crazy dude. I've actually been in the ring with the guy. He's a, he may be crazy, but he's one tough individual. But then again, so is this man. Introducing his opponent from Cairo, Egypt, 
Standing six foot one, 330 pounds. The paragon of greatness. One of the all-time greats and wrestler unstoppable. And I should know, I have shared the ring with this man many, many times over the years. I believe all you, you not the bad side. And here we go. 15 clock. Shot to the back by a clothesline. Taking it. If you all see any lag, I do apologize. to a chin lock here by the Paragon of Greatness. And he's certainly getting the upper hand in this one. In the early going to this match. Shadow press now, section. It was enough to break the hold. Paragon into the corner. Big lariat into the corner and down goes P.O.G. Press as we understand, but still looking for his first victory here at Commonwealth. Paragon got his first win along with Uncle Frank in tag team action in the last show. Oh, look at the strength of the POG. Gut wrench suplex. Big shot to the back and POG into the cover. And a kick out at one. Oof. Big Larry at this time to the back. SP punch by Shadow Press. Mm -hmm. So he went to for, tried to go for a dream chaser, but Paragon was able to reverse. The Sword of Democles. And then into the cover. But no kick out. Oh, look at this. Another gut wrench. Oof. Nice maneuver there. And now it has him up. Shadow press counters with a big right hand as a chop and barely phasing him. The destroyer by Shadow Press. <clears throat> Pick to the midsection, hooks the arm. Green Chaser DDT. Get in the cover now. Hooks the leg. There's two and a kick out. Another one off the ropes and it's a half kick. <clears throat> I 
as the first. Oh, SP punch. Kick out at two. Paragon still in it. Still approaching the first five. Has him up. Power bomb. And it's over. Holy camoly. A big win for Shadow Press as we take a look at some of the highlights here. Tell you what, maybe that last SP punch must have rocked the PLG silly, but nonetheless, the winner of the match at 5 11 second, Shadow Press. Women's tag team action. We have Danny Logan and Jade Barrett with Akira Suzuki in their corner taking on the Fallen Angels and Angelita Nightwalker and Mrs. Utaker. So, who do you have? Place your bets. The following contest is a women's tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring, Kira Suzuki from Appalachia, Danny Logan. If I remember correctly, uh, at least one or two of these women will be part of the cash in the case ladder match for the women. For some reason, I, I forget my own thing. Uh,
Okay. And introducing her tag team partner from North Bay, Rockport City. She is the Commonwealth Women's Champion, Jade Jewels Barrett. And ladies and gentlemen, I will make this announcement. Jade Barrett will defend the Commonwealth Women's Championship against the woman that was originally the number one contender before Barrett took her place. And it will be Angelita Nightwalker. And speaking of Angelita, she along with her mother, along with her mother will be coming out now. Introducing their opponents, the team of Angelita Nightwalker and Mrs. Utaker. They are the Fallen Angels. Wow, talk about grudge matches. We might be looking at one right here. As mentioned, Angelita has a huge opportunity to recapture the women's title. But right now, she will be teaming with her with her mother to take up. Calling on their hair. go Angelita starting off strong here with a bit of a straight jacket here straight jacket chin lock now Danny Logan trying to fight out of it there's a little bit of strength shown here Buster there by Danny Logan who drags Angelita into her corner and makes the tag to Jay Barrett. These two will meet on a later date. Nice move there by Angelita. Irish whip into into the Fallen Angels corner. Makes a tag to Mrs. Utaker. Big right hand and uh-oh. Look at this, poetry in motion. Oof. Mrs. Utaker stomps to the face of the women's champion. Oh, Hurricane Rana there, but driving this is Utaker's head down to the canvas. Yeah. 
Nice reversal by Barrett. And this is you take our girls face first. Oh, look at this. Jumping side slam. Jumping side slam by Jade Barrett. Irish whip into the corner. Backs her to the middle of the ring. Another cover. But no kick out. After that stunner by Barrett. Oh, big power bomb by the women's champion. Oh, Mrs. You take it right now. She really needs to go make a tag. Danny Logan back in off the tag. Jawbreaker by Mrs. Yu, however. And, wow. What a maneuver that was. Kick to the midsection. Well, spins her around. Gut wrench suplex. Rolls through, still holds on. Here for a second one. Stampede going here. Oh, wow. Angelita makes makes Jay Barrett pay. So, sorry, sorry I'm not talking all the time. Just uh, being, uh, just respond, trying to respond to something pretty much. Oh, eat defeat by Danny Logan. And they kicked out at two.
Angelita in trouble in the corner again. Takes out Mrs. Utaker. Danny Logan gets driven down by Angelina. Oh, Angelina now building momentum. Oh, wow. If I'm going to say that was a Step up into Guri there. There's a cover. And Barrett breaks it up. Angelita staring deep into the eyes of the women's champion, sending her a message. And a tag is made. Uh oh. Oh no. Hell. Spiked Hell's Gate Tombstone. Pick out a two by Danny. I have no idea. I have no idea how Danny Logan was even able to kick out of that. She's a fighter, though. I'll give her credit. Knee drop to the face. Oh, this is you, Taker was able to kick out, even though Angelina tried to stop it, as 10 minutes have now expired. Running sent on. Poor Danny. Hand it up. And Barrett and Mrs. Utaker are going at it. Hurricane Rana. Danny Logan locking in the submission. Oh, nice reversal by Angelita. But Danny Logan, quick. Quick to stop the momentum. Tag is made. And the rocket launcher. Shades of Jim Nightheart and Owen Hart with the rocket launcher. Barrett over the top to the outside. One, two. Oh, wow. Angelita got caught. Coming off the top row, Barrett caught her. A blocker with the jumping side slam. Tell you what, Angelita's one tough woman, let me tell you. Oh. Oh, spinning kick. And another one. Angelina displaying a little bit of attitude here. 
And the stroke. Shades of Double J, Jeff Jarrett. And oh, look at this. Spike Hurricane Rana. Another one. Oh, so close for making a tag. Oh, look at this STF. The camo clutch STF. Just about six minutes remaining in this matchup. And a tag is made. Double kick. Danny Logan setting her up. Eight defeat. Wow, what a win for Logan and Barrett. As we take a look at some of the highlights in this back and forth encounter. There's knife edge top early on in the match. Your winners of the match at 14 minutes and 25 seconds, Jade Barrett and Danny Logan. Barrett and Logan may have gotten the win tonight, but the one-on-one -on -one encounter with the Women's Championship is still approaching between Barrett and Nightwalker. Barrett picking up some momentum. But it might not be enough. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see what happens. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is a is an interesting singles match. We have the Russian Dragon Devoa Dimitri, with Mark Blade in his corner, taking on Jonathan Storm Red Dust, and in his corner is a brand new signee. From what I understand, his name is Val. So, ladies and gentlemen, who do you have? Place your bets. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the King of the Streets, Mark Blade. From Moscow, Russia, standing 6 foot 10, weighing in at 214 pounds, 
the Russian dragon, Devoa Dimitri. Dimitri coming off a loss from Sir Dragon, I believe in the last show, supposed to get back to his winning ways. And here comes his opponent. And coming down to the ring, accompanied by Val. From New Orleans, Louisiana, six foot six, weighing in at 196 pounds, Jonathan Storm. go 15 minutes on the clock in this singles match Donna Storm with a huge clothesline taking down the Russian Dragon Looks like a reverse choke slam there. But now, Storm retaliating. Oh, big time elbow. Oh, but there's a kick to the midsection. And a big leg drop to the, to the back of the head. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Dropping the big leg. Big time superplex by Storm. And now into the cover. And only a kick out at one. Oh, the strike to the face. And a bulldog finds the mark. Reversal there by Dimitri. And now he goes up to the top rope. And drops the elbow. And kick out at two. And 
now goes up back up to the top rope. And 6.30, Senton. Recover it. Oh, boy. Oh boy, this is not going to sit well with uh, some certain individuals, I can tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match at three minutes, Devoa Dimitri. The Devoa Dimitri returning to the back along with, along with Mark Blade. And, oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, I, I've just been informed here. Wait, Val and Red Dust. Red Dust is... I think, oh, wow. Val just spread red mist. Val just spread some some mists of um, some sorts, and now and now it looks like oh boy, something's going on. Val is now heading to the back where Devoa Dimitri is. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see if we we could get some cameras back there to see what's happening. Dim we understand Dimitri and Val have now met up somewhere somewhere in the back as as Storm is recovering in the ring. Oh look out! Oh man, something is going on there. Oh look at this, Val retaliating, sending Dimitri right into the crates. You had to wonder something was going to happen. But, oh, what a backbreaker by Val. And, oh, 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 oh. Dimitri getting the worst of that. Rolling cutter by Val. Oh, boy. Those crates are being used a lot here. There's another rolling cutter by Val. Oh, oh, what a right hand. Oh, just picked him up and dropped him. Val looking for revenge for Jonathan Storm here. Oh, but, but Dimitri with an arm drag reversal. He picks him up. Oh, what a boot right to the face. And now look at this. Val elbows to the midsection. And Dimitri retaliates with an elbow of his own. Oof. And oof, throw right into the wall. But, but Val fights back. And throws him back into the crates. Uh-oh. Oh, a choke bomb! A choke bomb by Val. But Dimitri retaliates. Val gets out of that one. 
My goodness, it's just chaotic. Oh! Double arm suplex right to the, uh... Uh, The trays, it looks like. His legs bounce off the trays. Or that cart there, whatever it is. And Val just stomping away. Oh, tossed right into the wall again. That is not wood. That is flat out concrete. That's concrete that they're being slammed on. Gut buster. But oh boy. Look at the power of Val. Oh my gosh. And that knocked him out. And now we have we have officials and security finally coming in, coming in to break the break the two up. And there we see Mark Blade and, and Jonathan Storm now back there as well. And like they they're they're pushing and shoving each other. And the officials the officials are they're sending Val and Storm out of here. You know, somebody tells me this is not over. Val getting a little bit of redemption for Jonathan Storm. We may be seeing a new alliance. We may be seeing a new alliance between those two. In the meantime... Meantime, Mark Blade, he better get ready because he has a match himself. And that match is next. Now this is a match that Mark Blade has requested himself. After the Opaque Brotherhood defeated his his tag team champions, Mark Blade went up to me and said that he wanted a match against Killer Neptune. And I said, you know what, sir, why not? So here we go, Killer Neptune versus Mark Blade, place your bets. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, from the city of Atlantis, standing six foot one, weighing in at 200, 227 pounds, the demon of the deep, Killer Neptune. A member of the old pig brotherhood, Killer Neptune. Certainly a, a very interesting pro wrestler here. Known for his high flying ability. Certainly a risk taker of the Opaque Brotherhood. And also oftentimes the tag team partner of Uncle Frank. And Killer Neptune will be one of the men competing in the cash in the case ladder match including this man <clears throat> making his way to the ring from New York six foot six weighing in at 196 pounds the king of the streets Mark Blade
tell you what. I hope he got all the red mist out of his eyes. Certainly looks like it. Mark Blade. This is going to be an interesting encounter, let me tell you. Fifteen minutes on the clock. This is our fourth match of the day, ladies and gentlemen, or the night, excuse me. A bit of a clean break. Oh, jerk. Back suplex there by Killer Neptune. with the upper hand. Once again, both of these men, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to double check, both of these men will be involved in the Cash in the Case ladder match on our next uh, supercar whenever I get the chance. tell you, uh, I am gonna have, I will have to do something about this situation between, uh, Dimitri Storm and Val. There's the tie turner. The tie turner by Killa Neptune and a kick out by Mark Blade. No, 
Now Mark Blade. With a stomp. <clears throat> Into the cross face, but Killer Neptune's foot was under the bottom rope, so that and that will cause a break. Under the cover. And that kick out at two again. Oh, there's a little bit of an edge-o-matic there. And now look at this. Mark Blade has the arm of Neptune, stomps on it. And look at this, just stomping away. It's the king of the streets. Now wrenching on the arm now. Let's double knees to the back. And now look at this, he's setting him up. Has him a pop-up punch. The recover and a kick out at two. Mark Blade cannot believe it as five minutes have expired. Ooh, there's a knee, a knee drop right to the knee of Killer Neptune, and then there's another one. Yes. A uh, reversal, and oh, look at this. Oh, there's a kick. Lane returning to the ring. Ooh, face buster. Mark Blade saying that's it. Oh, not if Killer Neptune has anything to say about it. Oh, Neptune telling him to bring it on. Oh, Mark Blade caught him there. Oh, a modified GTS. And it's over. My goodness, what a matchup. Good look at some of the highlights here. Mark Blade building momentum for the cash in the case ladder match. That's the pop-up punch, and I could not believe Neptune was able to kick out of that one. And there's the face buster applied. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match at 6 minutes and 12 seconds. I'll we'll have to double check that that's the right time. Nonetheless, the winner is Mark Blade. So now this match, ladies and gentlemen, is this will be an elimination match. Two of, two of the women that you see there will also be involved in the women's ladder match. Two of them are not. The two who will not be participating in the ladder match are El Angel de Oro and Cameron Jackie. The two women who will be in the latter match will be Akira Zizou and Jennifer Clark. So who do you have in this matchup? Place your bets now.
And here we go. The following contest is a four-way elimination match scheduled for three falls. Introducing first, from Tokyo, Japan, Akira Suzuki. Suzuki looks to build momentum for the women's cash in the case ladder match as well. But this, so this match will, be, will kind of be like the ladder match considering it will have more than two people. So this will be an interesting challenge for her. Coming down to the ring next from Miami, Florida, Cameron Jackie. Oh, before I forget, for the height and weight, Akira Suzuki is five foot six, 150 pounds. Cameron Jackie is five foot two, weighs in 137 pounds. And making her way to the ring. From Chihuahua, Mexico. Five foot five, weighing in at 125 pounds. El Angel de Oro. One half of El Angels along with El Angel Rojo. I'll tell you what, they would like to get some, get a shot at the Women's Tag Team Championships. <clears throat> and speaking of which, from Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, standing at 5'8", weighing in at 132 pounds, she is one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Jennifer Clark. <clears throat> Jennifer Clark will be involved in a ladder match as well. And her tag team partner and daughter, Jordan, will be in the ladder match as well. But it will be every woman for herself. Just like the ladder match, this match here will be every woman for herself, and here we go. And once again, folks, this is elimination. The only way to be eliminated is by pinfall or submission, and those must take place inside the ring. <clears throat> Oh, that's your wrestler there. Ooh, slam down to the floor. And I'll tell you what, this is one of those matches where it's just hard to keep up with. You, you just don't know who's doing what to who. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no, no count outs, no disqualifications. I know that there are some of you out there who love some hardcore action. And oh, power slam by Akira. 
once again, ladies and gentlemen, it is scheduled for three falls. I got it too, and Cameron looks like she, oh, she's got a kendo stick. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? I bet that's what you, I bet that's what you viewers out there really wanted to see. And we got an elimination. The Gold Angel eliminated at 2 minutes and 24 seconds. And just like that, we are down to 3. And, oh! Face first onto the floor goes Jennifer. There's a kick in. Oh, and a running kick. Oh, Cameron tried to go for a kick herself, but missed. And she gets slammed on the apron for her troubles. Uh-oh. Face first off the table. thrown back into the ring. Jennifer Clark in trouble. And Akira, and now Akira. <laughs> Look at that. She can be a little sassy if she wants to. Whoa, camera with a knee strike. Another one. Oh boy. Hurra can run off the top rope. And out goes Akira. But Jennifer Clark catches Jackie with a Russian leg sweep into the cover. And a kick out at two. There goes now. Jennifer trying to build momentum here. Kick and look at this twist of fate. Oh, catches over the kick, but Jennifer Clark retaliates. Telling Akira, you're not just gonna give me a cheap shot. Oh, buckle bomb by Jackie. Hurricane Rana. There's a cover. No. There's a kick and a shining wizard. And Cameron Jackie eliminated at 5 minutes and 41 seconds. And now Jennifer Clark has a baseball bat. <clears throat> Ooh, Akira. Akira takes it down, or takes it away, puts it down. <laughs> Jennifer Clark makes her pay. And a 
Another twist of fate. Now into the cover. And a big win for Jennifer Clark. As we take a look at some of the highlights. Clark building momentum for the women's cash in the case ladder match. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match at six minutes and 29 seconds, Jennifer Clark. And now we're gonna be moving on. We have some a non-title tag team match. It is former tag team champions. Frozen Rage and Mad Outlaw taking on the current Commonwealth tag team champions and Lex and Mike Blood with Mark Blade in their corner. It's amazing how Mark Blade could just switch from his wrestling from his suit to his wrestling attire back to his suit. That is just amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, who do you have? Place your bets. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first at a total combined weight of 525 pounds, Matt Outlaw and Frozen Rage. These two guys here are two-time Commonwealth Tag Team Champions together. They certainly know what it's like to hold those titles. And I tell you what, with a win here, 
they could find themselves right back into the title hunt. And here come their opponents. Coming down to the ring, their opponents accompanied to the ring by Mark Blade at a total combined weight of 587 pounds. They are the Commonwealth Tag Team Champions, Lex and Mike Blood, the Forgotten Billion Boys. We got a bit of a new look here for the Blood Brothers. I'll tell you what, this is going to be an inter interesting matchup right here. 20 minutes on the clock, and here we go. A nice throw there by Lex. And drops the knee right to the spine of Frozen Rage. And now look at this. Dropping the knee right onto the canvas. And look at this. Uh-oh. Shots into the corner and holy smokes, what an overhead suplex that was. I was to the corner. Attack made to Matt Outlaw. I'll tell you what, these two know how to team together. Double back body drop. Outlaw, however, drops him on the second rope. And now he's using the ropes like a guillotine. The guillotine choke there on the ropes. And Outlaw drags him into his corner. Snap Mare. Oh, he's just taunting him. And Lex, he's not going to have any of that. Goes over to his corner to make the tag to Mike Blood. There's the punch. Well, but there's a backbreaker. How long now has now has him on the ropes? Oh, look at this. Double trapezius claws. And Outlaw is fading. Outlaw fading away here. He could be out of it. Oh, stomp right to the hamstring. And, and Mark Blade is happy with what he sees. And to the Boston Crab, but oh, the Outlaw. With some leg strength, he gets out of it. Oh, 
Oh, spinning kick. <clears throat> now tosses him into the corner. Oh, now we got a little bit of a stampede going on here. The Blood Brothers working together. And rock kick to the ribs. Outlaw. Look, look at that. Fight back here. There's a fall away slam. Open up into the ropes. Got a two. Uh, Lex Stor sorry, Lex Blood, excuse me. In trouble in the corner. And uh, this snake eyes off the ropes in a big boot. Throw up again with a leg drop. Specifically, he's showing he really wants to get back in the title hunt. Tag made. Here comes Rage. And oh dear! Look at that! Assisting with the avalanche kick. Tell you what, that was an impressive maneuver. Rage assaulting Lex here, but Lex retaliating. I'll tell you what, Lex, he really needs to make a tag. Kick out at two as Mike Blood finally got uh, frozen rage. Looks to do some more damage here to Mike Blood. With a sit out power bomb. Everything well in hand. Tag made. Uh oh. 
Oh, we got a little bit of a roll reversal here. There it is again. Oh, kick out at two. That wall can't believe it. Tag. And here comes Rage again. Back body drop once more. And, uh, and a hot tag. And here comes Lex Blood. Oh, big boots. And a clothesline. But looks like Frozen Rage is busted open, but that's not going to stop him. That's just going to enrage him, no pun intended. Break up the count, but out, but Rage was able to kick out. As ten minutes have now expired, and ladies and gentlemen, we have one more match to go. After this will be our main event. Ed, but and now Lex Blood is busted open with blood. Bloods to the blood to the right, to the left, everywhere. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice counter. Nice counter by Storm. A cover and a kick out. Oh, wait a minute. We got a cover here. Referee distracted. Rage and Outlaw gets the win. Wow. I did not expect that. Tell you what, Outlaw and Rage completely dominated. But ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the match at 10 minutes and 47 seconds, Matt Outlaw and Frozen Rage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is our main event. This matchup right here, this will determine the number one contenders for, for the Forgotten Billion Boys' Tag Team Championship. It is a four-corner elimination match. From left to right, it is Wooga Booga and Nick Nitroglycerin, Primordial Explosion. Ace Adams and Andy Price. Mark and Alex Caliber, Excalibur. And then you got Chris Cage and Ryan Osborne. <clears throat> So, ladies and gentlemen, who do you have for this? Place your bets now.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. It is a four-corner elimination match to determine the number one contenders for the Tag Team Championship, and it is scheduled for the best six out of seven falls. Introducing team number one. At a total combined weight of 467 pounds, Ace Adams and Andy Price. Ace Adams is a former hardcore champion. In the meantime, Andy Price. He may be small, but he can go. And he has held titles before. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is going to be one tough challenge. Tell you what, they look confident. Excuse me. <clears throat> they would tell you what, those two would love to get into the tag team title picture. Introducing team number two at a total combined weight of 519 pounds, Mark and Alex X Caliber. Former tag team champions in their own right. In fact, they look to get the titles back. Well, in order to do that, they need to survive three more teams. Teams down, two teams to go. Introducing team number three at a total combined weight of 565 pounds. Nick Nitroglycerin and Wooga Booga. Primordial Explosion. And there's the tag team that the Forgotten Billy Boys took the titles from. And they certainly want those titles back.
They certainly are determined. Now there's only one team left. And now team number four at a total combined weight of 615 pounds. The team of Chris Cage and the Commonwealth Wrestling Hardcore Champion, Ryan Osborne. Good one right here. All eight men in the ring. And here we go. Now, unlike your usual tag team for battle royals, I'm sorry, normal battle royals. This is really team based, which means it is every team for itself. And keep in mind, this is single, it is double elimination. Tiger Pink Pink by Chris Cage. It is double elimination, which means both members of the tag team has to be eliminated. So in other words, a tag team is not eliminated until both both members of a team is either is either pinned or have submitted. Oh man, it's going crazy already. We got fights on the outside. Oh, Mark Caliber in trouble with Chris Cage. Oh wow, I don't know what was supposed to happen there, but that was a huge crash and burn right there. Cage got caught in the apron there. Meantime in the ring. Glycerin with the guillotine on Alex Caliber. Meantime, Ace Adams oh, with a guillotine of his own. Andy Price just got dropped. Six thirty cent on on Alex, and Mark breaks up the count again. Well, Chris Cage with a huge cutter. Oh, Mark! 
He's setting up Ryan Osborne here. Eternal rest grant onto you. No, kick out. Oh man, it's just chaotic. And this time it's Alex breaking up the count. That's what you gotta do in these type of matches. You gotta look out for your partner. Oh, we got blood now. Both calibers are bleeding. Jumping side slam. Adam saving his partner. Uh -oh. oh boy. Look out, Ryan. There's the pounce. strike looks like Andy's been busted open as well I didn't even see that and I have no idea what Chris Cage is going for oh what a kick by Mark take it down to Stone Age Warrior uh, and Cage saving his partner there but I don't know if he got still got the raw end of the deal. Blackjack by Andy Price. Oh, uh oh. Alex. Alex has Wooka in trouble. And look at this drive by drop kick. Right to the side of the head. And we got an elimination. Booga Booga eliminated at 5 minutes and 37 seconds. Big cover by Chris Cage. And Andy Price is gone. Andy Price eliminated. Looks like that was a rabid bomb there on Ryan Osborne, but the Nick clearly cut him off there. And Cage. Cage missing again. Five minutes and 55 seconds for Andy Price. Now we're down to six. Keep in mind, we're only looking for six or seven eliminations. Jumping side slam to Alex Caliber. And Alex Caliber has been eliminated. Six minutes and 52 seconds for him. Now look at this. Lesterin able to survive. There's a cutter by Chris Cage on Mark Caliber. Looking for the elimination. No. So far, Mark Caliber, Ace Adams, and Nick Nitro Glycerin are the only representatives for their teams. In the meantime, Chris Cage and Ryan Osborne is the only team remaining, the, the only full team remaining in the match. to Ace Adams and there's a pump handle slam and Ace Adams has been eliminated 
eight minutes exactly. Andy Price and Ace Adams both eliminated. Saves himself there. In the meantime, Osborne and Glycerin are going at it on the outside. Set. Hey, sets up for another cutter. He's got him. <clears throat> and Mark Caliber is gone. DDT by Glycerin. But here comes Chris Page. It is down to three individuals. Glycerin from Primo Dial Explosion. And then we got Chris Cage and Ryan Osborne. The only full tag team left in this match. Eight minutes and 42 seconds for Mark Caliber. Oh, right now it is just the numbers game. Numbers game taking over. Right into a cutter. Yo. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, they're they're just torturing him right now. Not too close to the ropes. Glycerin trying to figure out a way to survive here. But is it too much? And a kick out. And a jumping side slam. Here's a cover. No, Glycerin still in it. And unfortunately, there's nothing that Ruga Booga can do about it. And that's over. A Brazilian spike, but to no avail. As we take a look at some of the highlights in this match. Tell you what, it was a, certainly a chaotic matchup. Action all over the place, but nonetheless, your winners of the match at 11 minutes and 32 seconds and number one contenders for the Tag Team Championship, Chris Cage and Ryan Osborne. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. For those watching on Twitch, be sure to follow me up. Just hit the follow button and you'll see, and then you'll be able to, uh, to watch me a little bit more more often or so and for those of you watching on youtube thank you so much for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed the show and subscribe <clears throat> to the channel for more content like this click the bell icon for notifications so you'll know each and every time i upload and once again thank you so much for watching
And I will see you all in the next episode. Stay tuned, stay safe, and have a good day. And for those watching around evening, have a good night, everybody.